for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get to it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I did a video, I'd say about two weeks ago, saying that many people are hoping that they do not use Tristan and his family, let them heal. So according to Radar Online, Chris Jenner feels that they are not going to be using Tristan Thompson to save the family struggling reality show. <laughs> I think that people are sick and tired of reality shows, but don't paint a good part of reality, or you over actualize, or you're over trying to sell your products. It doesn't seem like healthy relationships. It seems like the family's struggling with relationships. People see that the mom can have a long-term relationship without everything being blasted and told monthly, weekly. Kim has to post monthly. Chloe has to post monthly. Courtney has to post monthly. Kylie has to post monthly. And Kendall. Period. They're at work in regards to posting to try and trend. Mothers teach your daughters different. Stop playing with me. <laughs> so they're basically trying to say they don't plan on having Tristan Thompson on the show. Tristan Thompson will not be back on the Kardashians to help the spike uh, sagging ratings despite the reports Radar Online learned. It claims the 67-year-old momager was also desperate to receive the family-struggling Hulu reality show. And she had Tristan Thompson to help the ratings uh, to move and to drive her daughter berserk. We get it. But the biggest thing is, let's, let's talk about it. They allowed him to be on that show. And when he was on that show, he didn't paint her in a good light. He wasn't smoozing her, making her feel love, respected. In the car, he was basically saying she's controlling. What? Ex-baby daddy? And she corrected him. And evidently, she probably is controlling about the house, how things have to be organized. She has to focus on herself and what she needs to do. They look to her not to paint her in the same light as Kim. Kim can have this great relationship and somebody's sending flowers. But in regards to Chloe, you got her ex on a bike with her and they send it out and they post it. We would have never saw that. They make her look bad. They make Chloe look extremely bad on that show, period. On a bike. Yes, Kanye's never leaving. I guess Scott's never leaving. I guess that means you're never leaving. He said to her, you, you mean you're never leaving me? How embarrassing. I would have never, as a mother, let no guy disrespect my daughter on a show. They should have not put that out. Then you have a long time ago, Kim allegedly breaks into a phone, into his email, and Chloe's like, I don't know why he's not calling me back. I have a way to break into his phone, which is illegal. They put it on the show. Hey, Rashad, where you at, baby? I really enjoyed myself last night. I really miss you. Give me a call, Rashad. And then Chloe looks so hurt. And then Kim's like, oh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know that that's what we were going to find out. Girl, when a man ain't calling, he ain't being bothered with you. You know he cheating. You 
know he was somebody else. You know he ain't paying her no attention. Oh, Chloe, she's in the bathroom crying. I'm sorry, I never should have broken into it. And then they put that on the show. What? This Tristan thing. This Tristan, and that's the one thing. The team, and I keep saying it, their team is either too close or not, or not reading the room. The room keeps saying, take a time out for two years. <laughs> take a time out. We see that they love to post something. What are we going to do Monday? What are we going to post about Tuesday? What are we going to post about Friday? What are we going to post? Can we take a trip? We see it. It, it, it. it shifts and moves just like we think it would. Anytime something happened, there's a diversion. Anytime something transpired, there's a distraction. Anytime something's not going right, there's this. We understand when something transpired back in the day with Kanye, Kim would plop up on a bathing suit and have a bathing suit on like on a Monday and a Friday just to get the media away from him, his conversation, what he got going on. Now he's married and their sources say allegedly she don't like her. Allegedly she, you know, feels this way. Allegedly she likes her because, you know, she doesn't really have anything else to say or do because she has to let the kids be around Kanye's new lady. Their media team, allegedly people are calling it out. Either they're too close, they they need to get a new team. They are being dragged in the media. And see, back in the day, they loved the good press, bad press. They loved it. You got ex-bodyguards speaking out. You know? There's all these lawsuits. Hello? A team is supposed to protect your brand. A team is supposed to run everything by lawyers. A team is supposed to make you look good. And see, they went through the, it don't matter, good, bad, bad buys. Let me trip on this. That'll go viral. Let me post this. People will talk about my product. <laughs> you know, can we talk about Pete this week? <laughs> no. Can we talk about Kanye this week? No. So it's just, it's, and then the cop for the last 10 years, copying people's brands. It's sad that their team is that lazy, that they can't come up with their own ideas, their own concepts. Concepts. That's what research programs are for. That's what, you know, you get into a room and you ask different people what you think about the product. How is it that their team is copying different people's style, different people's product, different people's outfits, you know, different people's co comments and concerns. Mothers, teach your daughters difference. You got one daughter that think this is a, a great thing to allegedly do a, a, a tape. Ray J had a lot to say, and he may not feel that he had to sue because at least it's out there. And trust and believe, What when was the shift? The shift was, the girls constantly arguing. People kept saying the shift was when they kept being mean to Courtney. And then she even was promoting all the daughter stuff without and didn't say much about Courtney from the video that we po that was posted. Mothers teach your daughters different. You got one with a tape. You got one did a Playboy. You got one that's showing her behind last year on Instagram. And you got one daughter that needs the love, needs the support. And the man is dragging and embarrassing her. You know, it's sad. And then you have Kim that's doing way too much with North on TikTok. It's not appropriate. Having your daughter pretend like she is acting as the 23-year-old and the song is munch back out thinking about me while you're with her. Come on. Everybody just wants them to be in a healthy, safe relationship, period. The mom has been in, what, four or five relationships? And the, you know, the uh, Bruce Jenner, who is now Caitlyn, that was on the show. But then they went back and forth about what, who knew, what was going on. And they tried to shade them. So everybody that is an ex slightly gets shaded. And see, guys are feeling away. They see it now. Back then, people really wasn't picking up. 
But now you have bloggers, you have YouTubers, you have media that see stuff and we have the opinion. And who, what guy wants to be shaded after they break up? What guy wants a bad career while he's in the industry? There's just so much going on. And we speak about good, bad, good vibes, bad vibes, and wishing well, because not a doctor, not a counselor, not to embarrass, not to shame. But we see that there's concerns with the daughters. We see it. Kim fusses at Courtney like she owns her and tries to tell her what to do. And the biggest thing is, why would a sister try to degrade or embarrass a sister that just wants to be with her kids and her man. And that's the other part. The one healthy relationship that there is, they're trying to paint it as a bad situation. What? Courtney's the only one that is married right now. We don't know much about Rob's situation. They like to post about him on his birthday. But in regards to the Tristan thing, he has <laughs> the first year that shouldn't have been accepted. There shouldn't have even been a Jordan situation. He should have been cut off. Every year, there's something. Every year. Every year. And that's the one thing. Back in the day, there was clips in regards to the mom cozying up to the ex-boyfriends. And especially like the Scott situation. But they put Scott through a lot. They didn't even have to put Scott situation on TV. But they did. For what, a good five, six years? We saw it all and he needed a break and now Scott's doing well and now they're trying to give him a contract allegedly to come back. I wouldn't if I was Scott. Scott needs that peace. Scott is doing well. Courtney's doing well. The kids are doing well. Why come back into that whirlwind of chaos and drama? Well wishes though. They're basically saying <laughs> Tristan's not coming back, which is good. Why isn't he spending time with Theo? You know, Ken said happy birthday, the mom said happy birthday, and then Chloe said happy birthday. You see the other sisters, I don't think said anything. But why isn't this, if he's such a good man, why isn't he spending time with Theo? Answer that. And until that's answered, people aren't really fooling with Chloe. Because you should, she can't make sure of it, but she likes to promote what he's doing for her. And people are saying, they're giving her side eye. And you know, and people are like correcting her. It's like, what? I'm telling you, last year, I think there was something similar and people dragged her last year. You have four children, you need to take care of all four children, all of them, and make sure the moms are good because when the mom is happy and healthy, hey, Marley, what do you need? You need help for a day? You need to go on a spa? You know what I'm saying? But instead, she wants to say the carpools and the dances and the nighttime stories and all the great things that he's doing for her. Girl, that's great. But what hap what ha what's happening with Theo? And we don't want Tristan to use Theo to help the Kardashians either for a storyline. We want him to be able to be with his son by himself. Because you also saw in that picture, Chloe had the other son in the picture. I wouldn't let her post no pictures of my kids. Rob should not let her post pictures of, of Dream either. No, that's the mother and Rob's responsibility. That would be Tristan's responsibility to post his first child. See, that's the funny thing. Chloe be posting pictures of other people's kids, and I wouldn't have let it. I wouldn't let that happen. You know, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm happy that allegedly they will not be posting him, and hopefully they won't be talking about him either. Because it'll all be all dragation and everything we've already heard and seen. Every week, something's posted. So we already heard it, seen it. There's no surprise. Reality shows, people are kind of getting sick of it. Because it's like, we already know. Altercation, cheating, lying, taking a friend, using a friend, business deal, bad business deal, getting sued. There's only 10 scenarios that they get talked about. Well wishes. Kim's in the media. For allegedly using or using Saint, using people to trend and post. You know, Tristan and the women. <laughs> well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Everybody have a great day. <laughs>